Hate crime is the most extreme consequence of hate speech. But what are all the forms of expressions of hate speech? Does it include only direct insults? Searching for more information, I found out that hate speech is commonly defined as direct verbal expressions. But hate speech includes also nonverbal expressions such as those contained in images, videos, music or any communicative form of online and offline activity. If we take the example of sexist hate speech, it can take many forms both online and offline. It can include offensive comments on appearance, what we also call body shaming, or on sexuality, sexual orientation or gender roles. It encompasses also false compliments or supposed jokes like women belong to the kitchen or using humor to humiliate and mock women. In the worst cases, hate can be brutal and sexualized threats of death, rape and violence. What is more, sharing explicit or sexual images without the consent of women could also be a form of hate speech, for example. All of those expressions are reinforcing the stereotypes people hold about women. They are used to justify discrimination against women, for example, paying them less for a job or not allowing them to play football. To sum up, hate speech is then not limited to speech. It can take unlimited forms, a song, a video, a tweet, a cartoon, a manipulated image. The visual or multimedia forms can even have a greater impact on conscious and subconscious attitudes than text or language. They are more likely to tell a story that sticks in people's minds. Whatever form hate speech takes, there is no such a thing as good hate or positive hate. When responding to hate speech, it's not only important to understand its causes and consequences, as well as its features, but also the ability to assess the degree of hate speech. Assessment of hate speech is essential to make an informed decision about the type of action you will undertake to a particular case, that is, legal action, mobilizing action, support for the victim, or, no, or even no action at all. In order to assess hate speeches, there are a number of criteria that may help define the degree of the hate speech. The criteria to define hate speech are the content or tone of expression. This covers the type of language used, such as an insult or a joke. The intent of the person making the statement, in other words, whether they mean to hurt someone or not. Then the target audience. This covers the individual or the group that are targeted by the hate speech. The context of the hate occurrence. In this case, this might include the fact that anti-gay legalization is being proposed or the fact that there is strong anti-gay feeling in the country. The impact, in other words, what effect the statement might have on individuals or a society as a whole. Next week, we are going to explore human rights and why they are important to develop responses to hate.